Welcome once again, viewers, to the Get It Hot Show live on TVP TV with me, your host, Jenny Lab. The show is proudly brought to you by Access Media Institute and Alice Beauty Parlor. Access Media Institute is approved by GES and affiliated to ICM UK. They offer both diploma and HND courses in journalism and media. You can locate Access Media Institute of Amasaman Ubum Highway inside the Wuni Plaza building for more inquiries. Contact Access Media Institute on 0244-494-577. 0244-494-577. Access Media Institute, integrity with professionalism. My hair and makeover is by Alice Beauty Parlor. Contact them on 0559-542-558. 0559-542-558. Quote of the day. Don't forget you can start late, start over, be unsure, act different, and still succeed. A quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josi, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today, I'm working as a journalist with the Pan-African TV, Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one, Arches Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Arches Media is the private media school you can really trust. Arches Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Arches Media, integrity with professionalism. Thanks for staying on. It's still the Get It Hot Show, where trending issues are saved. Hot, 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 and hot. I'm Jenny Love. Trending today. Court orders via Rasta couples to go for psychiatric checkup. A Tema magistrate court has ordered that Godpapa the Greatest and his wife, Empress Lupita, the training couple TikTok stars in Ghana to go for a psychiatric assessment. The couple, whose names are Daniel Chaya and Joycelyn Chaya, are facing a charge of the murder of their two children, a report by graphic.com DH has said. The report added that the presiding judge, Benedicta Entry, gave the order for psychiatric medical assessment during the appearance of the couple on Thursday, June 15, 2023. Additionally, the couple have been referred to legal aid for the services of a lawyer since the court was not clothed with authority to grant bail in the instant case. The court will reconvene on Monday, June 26, 2023. Godpapa the Greatest and Empress Lupita were picked up by the police and subsequently arranged before the TDC Magistrate Court on Wednesday, May 31, 2023. To our next trending story for the day, Prophet Ojaba exposed for charging his church members 3,000 Ghana cities just for WhatsApp video calls. The founder and general overseer of Holiness of Christ Zion Ministry, Born Emmanuel Akwesi Bwachi, but popularly known as Prophet, Ojaba is currently trending on social media for the negative reason. According to a Ghanaian lady, simply identified on TikTok as Akosia Allegation, Prophet Ojaba took $300 from her just for a WhatsApp video call because she needed his immediate help. In a now viral TikTok video, Akosia Allegation explained that before paying the $300 to Prophet Ojaba, one of his junior pastors explained to her that getting direct access to the man of God is strictly by subscribing to one of their numerous expensive packages, which are all in dollars and euros. Akosia Allegation, who is currently dragging Prophet Ojaba on social media for a refund of her $300, additionally claimed that after she made the payment, the man of God has refused to reply to any of her texts or calls. According to the lady, Prophet Ojaba is a big-time scammer and fraud who finds his luxurious lifestyle with the monies he gets from his victim because she even paid more than the $300, yet he has failed to attend to her. Now to our last trending story for the day, update on the Asin North by election. NPP candidate reportedly paying light bills of residents. The Asin North constituency is now the center of attention in the world of politics in Ghana because of the ensuing parliamentary by-election 
in the constituency, bidways in the two leading political parties, the ruling New Patriotic Party, NPP, and the main opposition party. The National Democratic Congress, NDC, have struck to ascend North canvassing for votes. Reports indicate that the two parties are leaving no stone unturned in their quest to win their Saint North seat, which was declared vacant after the NDC candidate James Dati Quisin was ousted from Parliament following a ruling by the Supreme Court of Ghana that he was not qualified to contest in the 2020 election. While the NPP government is doing its part to ensure that its candidate, Charles Opoku, wins the election, which is scheduled for June 29, 2023, by continuing the still project in the constituency, the candidate himself is not sitting aloof. According to a report by OKFM, Charles Opoku is registering the constituent to the National Health Insurance Scheme. Aside from that, his campaign team is moving from house to house, and if you owe electricity tariffs, they will pay it for you. The UTV Central Regional Correspondent, Ibrahim Deji, said in chief. That's all for today on the Get It Hot Show right here on TVP TV. I remain your lawyer host, Jenny Love. The show was proudly brought to you by HS Media Institute and Alice Beauty Palo. If today is your first time coming across my videos, kindly subscribe comment, like and share. Stay tuned for more updates.